I'm Brownie for OXS and the Thundercat Racing Association of New Zealand and in this video I'm going to talk to you about engines. There are two types of engines we use in Thundercat Racing. This one which is somewhat modified to Hatsu and Yamaha. They're both 50 horsepower and we race them in stock standard class racing. So first of all club racing, if you're going to turn up and race a club day there's virtually nothing you have to do this engine. The only recommendation we would make is take off the automatic oil feed and mix your own oil at a 50 to 1 ratio in a fuel bladder or fuel tank. Other than that, you can just bolt the engine straight onto the transom, turn up, do your first club day, have a chat to people and see how you like it and you'll start to learn from there. Okay, so if you're doing a national series, there's a few more modifications you want to make to your engine to make sure it's strong enough to get you through the series. First of all, your cranks. Now if you buy your engine off someone like Cam's Marine, this will probably already be done, but you want to whip the crank out and put just a little bit of world onto the gudgeon pins, uh, just to make sure that the crank webbing doesn't slip while you're racing. The second thing you want to do is get a strengthened tiller arm bracket. So this, is, whilst it looks like the standard Tahatsu bracket, it's actually an aftermarket bracket I got from Cam's Marine, uh, and it's a lot stronger than the standards, which means it'll hold up to jumping up and down and being slammed around in the surf. Uh, it's the same thing with the Yamaha. The Yamahas tend to snap, you know, halfway through a, a, a season when you're doing quite well, usually probably in the lead. Uh, so it's always a good idea to talk to someone like Cam's or possibly even family boats and get a strength and tiller arm bracket. The third thing you want to do in preparation for nationals is swap out the engine brackets. So they come with rubber mounted brackets from factory. So we're looking underneath here is the top bracket. So as you can see, we swap these out for a, for a solid bracket on top. Um, this one's made of an alley, but the one, the lower brackets, which we also swap out, uh, this is made of a hardened plastic. Now, these are also available from Cam's Marine. So the next thing you want to do is vent and dam your carbs. So this is a standard carb here, you can see with the rubber seal. Uh, and that's what it looks like inside. Now, what will happen is when you start jumping raves and turning corners and things sharp, um, fuel will start to splash about in here and cause your engine to stutter. So what we do is you cut out just that little corner there of the seal. And then underneath it, you just stick a little bit of rubber, like a little bit of fuel hose in here to stop the fuel from getting through. The next thing you want to do is just drill a small hole in the bottom of your air box, which normally sits at the front of the engine here. And that's just to let the water drain out uh, after you've teabagged your engine. Um, six mil hole is the biggest you're allowed, so I recommend drilling like a five or a five and a half mil, because if you go any bigger than six, even by accident, you won't pass scrutineering. The last thing you need to do for nationals is get your engine sealed. So when you're reassembling it, you reassemble it in front of an engine sealer. Now that's either Prescott Engines in Silverdale or Cam's Marine in Tauranga. Now you can take it and seal it and have them watch you put it back together, or you can just give it to them and they'll assemble the engine for you. And to be fair, probably nobody has assembled as many engines of, of Thundercats of those two guys, so you can trust their work. And all they'll do is once they've sealed it, they'll put these little seals with serial numbers around a few spots of your engine. They'll put them around the exhaust, they'll put them around the reeds, they'll put them around the block, and they just put them around through bolt to bolt through here and that's just to make sure that mid-season you can't crack your open and make any illegal modifications. Recommendations I make uh, before going into nationals is change out the standard fitting for your cowling and put some straps on to hold it down. The cowlings can and do come off regularly. Uh, once they come off they sink fast and they're worth about $800 each. Uh, so it's worth a few bucks to tighten it on there and make sure she's not going to come off. And the next thing is on the gearbox. This is not standard, this one's been modified, but normally this housing has two bolts, one top and bottom, just like this does, but it's part of the housing. Now those bolts can have a tendency to come loose and they can also have a tendency to crack the housing. It's worth checking that between every race day to make sure the bolts are tight and there's no cracks. I've seen plenty of gearboxes come flying out, mostly from drivers driving it very, very rough, uh, but it's not worth losing a propeller just to have those two bolts checked. And lastly, every race day you'll be scrutinised and your boat will be checked over. Now we're not looking to try and catch people out and, and make it hard for you guys. The idea of scrutineering is to make sure everyone's legal. If you come in and there's something up with your boat, we'll help you fix it and get it ready for the water. So I just encourage you to come on down, get your boat down there and talk to guys, talk to the scrutineer and we'll help get you racing. This has been one of our introductory videos on racing in New Zealand. If you've got any other topics you'd like to see us cover, comment down below. 
Uh, if you'd just like to argue with us, comment down below, tell us what we're doing wrong. Um, other than that, check out the rest of the videos to learn about Thundercat racing and for anywhere you can get equipment such as Cam's Marine, Salty Marine, uh, Family Boats, we'll make sure that all that information is in the description below so you can click on the links and get yourself into the sport.